My name is Melanie Wilson. Um, I have worked at the YWCA for almost 20 years. While working at the domestic violence shelter for the first 14 years or so that I worked there, I did all the child care and activities. There was a mom who didn't speak English at all and her daughter was a preteen. I think she was 12, maybe 13. Um, they were with us for a long time. They just didn't have any other options. The daughter, when she came to our shelter initially, didn't speak very much English either. And by the time she graduated three years later um, from her high school, she was valedictorian of her school. She got uh, scholarships to um, Whitworth. And she, she and I have stayed connected this whole time. She's 24, 25 years old now. Um, and she's a pharmacist and she just got married and had a baby just recently. And her mom, who she wasn't there for herself, obviously she was there with her mom, but her mom is in a really wonderful relationship long-term too. So that's my favorite story. During this COVID-19 pandemic, the staff at the shelter that are still there every day answering the crisis calls, um, they are very, very busy. The women and children there, I think, are probably a little more stressed out than they would be normally. We kind of get them situated. We show them all the rooms and the kitchen, and the, we have a really wonderful garden out back, so that's kind of a nice place to show them too, so they can go out there and, and relax. When the kids first get to the shelter, they're nervous, they're scared, they don't know where they're at, they don't know maybe why they've had to leave. And then you give them a week and they feel so much more comfortable that they are just all over the place and, and happier. Right now, I'm in charge of kind of getting donations and things that are required to run our domestic violence safe shelter. You know, I do a lot of donation drives and things like that. And so every single time I've ever done a drive for years and years, I have at least one person, usually two or three people, come up to me and say, my daughter has been at your shelter, I've been at your shelter, um, I, my neighbor, my friend, and that we've helped them. Everywhere I go, somebody has something to say about us and that, that we've helped somebody they know. Just recently, um, there was a woman who contacted me about wanting to make some masks uh, during this COVID-19 uh, for our shelter. She had been a client 10 years ago with her daughter there and she was um, 10 years later still thinking of a way to pay us back to help us out. If I wanted somebody to know something specific about our shelters, that we're there for you. We have a counseling service, we have legal services, we have Women's Opportunity Center, we have the uh, Our Sisters Closet. So we've got a lot of bases covered. We try to um, meet people where they're at and just figure out what their needs are and go from there. Whether you're just in the beginning stages of thinking about leaving an abusive relationship or if you're just ready to go right now, um, we can take care of you, we can help you, uh, that we're just there for you.